The fashion industry has long been plagued by controversies surrounding originality and design ownership. The latest uproar involves socialite and businesswoman, Kim Kardashian, who finds herself at the center of a dispute. Bianca, a relatively unknown designer, has come forward, accusing Kardashian of imitating her designs in the newest Skims collection. This accusation has sparked a heated debate, shedding light on the pressing issues of intellectual property and ethical conduct within the fashion realm. Taking to social media, Bianca boldly called out Kim Kardashian, pointing out the striking similarities between her own creations and the garments featured in Kardashian's latest release. Accompanied by side-by-side -side comparisons, Bianca's posts swiftly gained momentum, igniting thoughtful conversations regarding the delicate balance between inspiration and imitation in the world of design. The drama in the Jenner household never seems to cease, as Kim Kardashian finds herself in hot water once again. This time, allegations of her imitating Bianca's fashion style and brand have emerged, adding fuel to her already controversial reputation. Recent reports from both Bianca's and Kenya's sides suggest that Kim Kardashian may be facing legal charges for allegedly copying everything from the designs to the marketing strategies. It's a puzzling situation, leaving us wondering if there's more to the story. Kim Kardashian recently unveiled her latest Skims collection in a remarkable collaboration with the renowned jeweler Swarovski. The exquisite line features beaded boob tubes, matching leggings, and shimmering bodysuits. Excuse the interruption, but something has left me quite peeved. Skims and Swarovski are teaming up for an exciting venture, but truth be told, there's nothing worth your attention here. No need to waste your time, my friend. However, if you desire to be fashion ready for the imminent alien invasion, I've got you covered. Despite being a topic of anticipation, it wasn't what grabbed the fans' attention. Surprisingly, it was the uncanny resemblance between Kim's fashion choices and Bianca's iconic nude bodysuits. Kim's repeated instances of imitating Bianca's style on the red carpet have invited criticism for lack of originality. Countless fans have voiced their opinions, with one even assuming Kim can copy her 365 days of the year and still not be as hot as Bianca. I know that stings. A second fan wrote, Kim's body looks so weird when compared to a natural one. A third fan stated, Kim clearly misses Kanye's attention, and being his muse is definitely more than a coincidence. I mean, really, these people all look like Scotty is currently beaming them up. I like to bring to your attention that Swarovski made a decision to discontinue wholesale sales of their crystals in order to maintain the exclusivity and prestige of their brand. However, recent events have raised some questions. It seems that the actions taken by the brand extend beyond just the sale of clothing. Kim Kardashian, for example, has been observed imitating Bianca's iconic pixie haircut. This became evident when a picture of Kim adorned the cover of CR Fashion Book, portraying a similar glass-like finish and thin eyebrows. This raises the discussion of inspiration versus imitation, and many have commented on the apparent resemblance to the style choices of Kanye's spouse. Do you think this is a mere coincidence or a strategic move? Given recent events, I understand that some may think this is absurd. Can't people wear what they want? However, it's important to recognize the striking resemblances when it comes to blatant copying. Even if there are those who argue that it's all a mere coincidence, the evidence strongly suggests otherwise. Let's delve deeper into this matter. Interestingly, it's not only Kim who has faced accusations of copying. Kylie, too, has been accused of drawing inspiration from Kanye for her new key ideas, according to Poe Betsy, who claims that Kylie copied and pasted all the ideas she shared about six months prior to the launch of Kai. It all seems very Yeezy, doesn't it? Similar, but with a different font. Skims is just Yeezy. It all seems to originate from Kanye West. Now, I must ask, am I delusional? From the designs to the marketing, a clothing company alleges that Kylie Jenner's brand Kai is imitating their creations. Something suddenly dawned. It seems like the Kardashians have adopted a new strategy to keep their brands alive. Copying. With their keen eye for what's popular, they swiftly incorporate these ideas into their own fashion lines to stay relevant and solidify their status as trendsetters. This is evident as they've been spotted wearing outfits that bear a striking resemblance to those worn by other celebrities. From Kim's iconic silver dress, reminiscent of Beyonce's, to Kylie's pink wig, clearly inspired by Nicki Minaj, the Kardashians aren't shy about drawing inspiration from others. 
The Kardashians have cleverly capitalized on the fashion ideas of other celebrities by engaging in collaborations. With established designers and fashion houses by their side, they craft exclusive collections that generate considerable attention for their brand. These collaborations not only bring visibility but also enable the Kardashians to leverage the expertise and creativity of seasoned fashion professionals, even in the face of allegations of outright copying. Upon examination, it becomes apparent that Kim's recent launch is strikingly reminiscent of Bianca's style, with a collaboration featuring Swarovski. This indicates a potential fashion copycat strategy. However, this endeavor has garnered mixed reactions as it is one thing to draw inspiration from other designers, but quite another to outright copy their distinctive style and brand. It is therefore unsurprising to hear reports of Bianca contemplating legal action against Kim Kardashian. Predictably, it has consistently been a subject of widespread debate. It seems that they possess an innate ability to detect what's in vogue and hastily jump on the proverbial bandwagon. Hence, should they be held accountable for their unoriginality? Unquestionably, fashion has forever thrived on inspiration and reinterpretation. Trends ebb and flow, with designers drawing influence from one another. Consequently, the Kardashians are merely participating in the same game as everyone else. Nevertheless, where they appear to falter is in their failure to acknowledge the sources of their inspiration. Navigating the matter of attributing credit is a delicate task indeed. We have frequently witnessed the striking resemblance between the Kardashians' fashion choices and those of fellow celebrities, almost as if they possess a clandestine cloning contraption tucked away in their wardrobes. However, instead of acknowledging their sources of inspiration, they often present these creations as their own unique masterpieces, thereby inviting a wave of criticism. The negative criticism they face originates from their tendency to mislead the audience with claims of originality. While drawing inspiration from others is acceptable, passing off someone else's work as your own is entirely different. The copycat allegation and potential lawsuits will determine how the Kardashian family, particularly Kim, adeptly maneuvers through this situation. Let us eagerly anticipate the forthcoming episode of this copycat saga as this trend is undoubtedly far from reaching its conclusion. But what are your thoughts on this? Do you think it is acceptable for someone to draw inspiration from another but present it as their own? Do you believe that the Kardashians have gone too far in this regard? Or do you think the media has been overly harsh in its judgment of them? Share your thoughts and opinions below. We look forward to knowing them. And if you ever need to satisfy your gossip cravings or simply want to know what to anticipate from your favorite stars and movie series, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And, and remember, I love you guys so much. And as always, I'll see you all in the next video. See you all.